Now there are some things that I know. For instance, I know that it has to be 11 inches from here to here. Now, I also know that right now the case is going to have to be approximately 47 and a half inches long. I also know that my doors right now are just a smidge under two feet. So let's make it 23 and three quarters of an inch. That'll allow me to cut off this edge nice and square and flat. I'm going to redesign this in the computer and reprint it out. Well, I just discovered something about these boards and I'm glad I discovered it now. They're not all the same width. They're the exact same length, but they're not the same width. Well, like I said, I'm sure glad I saw it now. I guess I'm going to have to pass these all through the table saw and get them all the same width before I start gluing them together. Now, as long as I have at least half an inch extra on each board, I may as well take advantage of that and perfectly square each board up. Okay, we need 47 and 3 eighths. That's a quarter. There's 3 eighths right there. Good old dollar store clamps. That's pretty close. Well, there we are, 47 and 3 eighths. I've adjusted the dado blade here to what looks about right, and I ran a little piece of scrap through, and uh, it's not to any one particular measurement, but it works out to approximately uh, 5 30 seconds of an inch. Okay, this end piece right here, I've calculated it out that it has to be 22 and a half inches long. And that will accommodate the dado in the top and the dado in the bottom. And that should give me an overall height of 23 and 3 quarter inches. Okay, 22 and a half should be right there. Okay, that gives me a rough idea where to put the blade. Twenty-three and three-quarter. I was noticing that this knot has a little piece broken out. So I'll make sure that this side is on the inside of the case. Or cupboard. And uh, this side is pretty nice. 
so it'll be on the outside. But then on the other hand, this whole thing is going to be recessed into an old closet. That's why it couldn't be too big. If it was too big, it wouldn't fit. Okay, this does not have to be real precise. The only thing that has to be the same is the notch here has to be the same as the notch here. The notch here has to be the same as the notch here. But the distance can vary. It's, it's not real, real important. You know, a quarter of an inch one way or the other, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we need six and three quarter. Okay, I've got my lines drawn here now. But you know, I'm thinking that possibly this top shelf is going to be just a little bit too narrow. So I'm just going to shift the whole thing down. And that won't be too much of a problem. Shift everything down maybe an inch. And uh, I'm going to be using the fence anyway as a guide. So. You'll see. Now, if you'll remember, we discovered that some of these boards weren't the same width as the others. And it appears that this one here is the narrowest. Well, that's the same as this little one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my fence so it'll just take off a blade width on this, this one. And then we'll just cut all the others to match. Now, here's something that I never do. In fact, this is probably the first time I've ever passed something shaped like this up against a fence because there is the possibility that as it goes through it could catch a little bit and once it starts to catch it's just going to keep on going and it'll instantly come flying back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this miter gauge up behind it, give it a little bit of stability and I'm just going to sort of take a chance. But I can tell you I'm going to have my face protection on. Well, I didn't get walloped in the head with that little piece of wood. You know, I'm going to consider that a birthday present to myself. I turned 68 today. Now, here's where it's really handy to have your heavy equipment on wheels. I need four feet to come out the other side of this table saw. Now, this thing weighs well over 500 pounds. And I can move it relatively easy. Now I've got four feet. Well, I really did think that everything was going to be finished up in this video, but it's not. And please watch for number four. In number four, we'll glue everything up, put the doors on, put a coat of varnish on the doors, and finished. <laughs>